Okay, here we are going over pages 34 through 37 uh, in your guided practice in your instruction book. So number 19, I mean this is a huge number. You had to count all the zeros and use your commas, you know, 3, 6, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, double 3. It's 21, 22, 23, 24. So it's 5.974 times 10 to the 24th. Again, scientific notation. You must have a number right here that is not zero. It has to be one through nine, then the decimal, then your other zero uh, numbers. Now, some of these numbers could be zero. You could add zero seven four, but once you get to all the zeros at the end, you drop those. Now, here in this example, see that zero, that zero. You don't get carried away and drop these zeros. They're important because they're placeholders. Okay, but these leading zeros here and these following zeros here we get rid of in scientific notation. Alright, number 20. Um, mercury. If you take your first number, put a decimal, the 6 and the 3, drop those zeros, count. Now, don't count zeros because there's only five zeros. You got to count decimal places from where you put the decimal all the way to the end. So it's times 10 to the 7th. And this is times. 10 to the 8th. Alright, this next one, Neptune, we got 2.8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's times 10 to the 9th. Pluto, 3.67 times 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again to the 9th. Neptune is about how many times as far from the Sun as Mars is from the Sun. So we got Neptune. So we're doing Neptune is how many times, and you can put your X here if you want to for how many times, and then we've got Mars, right? So we're multiplying something by Mars, so we divide out Mars, so we've got Neptune over Mars. So we got 2.8 times 10 to the 9th over Mars, which was 1.42 times 10 to the 8th. Now it says about. So I look at these numbers, just forget the 2. This is about 2 times this, right? 2.8 divided by 1.4 would be a 2. So the number part comes out to be about a 2. Use your exponent rules here. 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. So I've got 10 to the 1st. Okay. And you can either think of this as 10. 2 times 10 is 20. Or we can move that decimal. So I've got a decimal point here. I'm going to move it one time so I add zero. So this is 20. So my answer is 20 times. Okay. Number 21. Which is equivalent to this? Now, your negative exponent, again, that makes it a decimal. It does not make it negative. Now, you can have negative numbers. Negative numbers are just negative numbers, but that negative is out front where it always is. Okay, but this is not a negative number because there's no negative out front, so it can't be A or B. So we're looking here. Now, this is a negative exponent. I don't even have to count anything. It can't be this. This would be a positive exponent. This would be the negative exponent, so it better be C. D, that would be, um, you know, she forgot the negative, I guess, in the exponent. this and we could verify that. They're better they should be eight to get to right here. I should move the decimal eight times. So in other words there should be seven zeros between this decimal and this eight. And if we count those there are seven. Alright, next page. Which of the following is equivalent to this number? So again you put down your five, you put a decimal 71009. This zero is important. So, how many decimal places do I have from that decimal all the way to the end? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, my answer would be D. It is a positive 6. This is a number bigger than 0. Number 2, the average distance from Pluto to the Sun is 6 to 10 to 9. The average distance from Mars is 2.10 to 8. The average distance from Pluto to the Sun is about how many times? is the average distance from Mars to the Sun. So we got Pluto is, 
So we're doing Pluto is equal to something times Mars again. This is not what we did in the other one. No, we did Neptune and Mars. So we're dividing by Mars. Okay. So we got Pluto 6 times 10 to the 9 divided by 2 times 10 to the 8. 6 divided by 2 is a 3. I'm just going to go ahead and write this here. And this is going to be 9 minus 8, which is again times 10 to the 1, which makes this a 10. 3 times 10 is 30. And my answer should be 30 times. Okay, last year business earned this in income. This year the business earned this in income, which best describes comparing to last time. So we're comparing to last year. This year's business to earn about five times as much as it did last year. Two times as much. Um, this year is 50 times as much. This year is 100 times as much. So we got this year. Okay, this year. Earn about as much times as much as it did last year. So we're going to put 2.05 times 10 to the 8 is equal to something times the 2.05 times 10 to the, I mean, sorry, 4. Point last year, 4.1 one times ten to the six. So this is what we're dividing by. Okay, so be careful here because the top number is smaller. So about how much so when I divide this, that X is a half, right? Or zero point five. Now I subtract my exponents. I'm gonna rewrite this over here. Now I've got eight minus six. Okay, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2 for my exponents. Again, this is 100.5 times 100. Or we move that two places to the right. So this is 50. So it's 50 times. So my answer is C. It's 50 times as much. Okay. So this page. Now, um, again, now you can do this in a way, but I tend to I'm gonna put these in scientific notation. That's a little easier, to, in my opinion. But you don't have to. You could turn them all into standard form. But let's do this. I'm gonna move that decimal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times to get it all the way in front of this two. So this is negative two times ten to the negative seven. I'm going to move this one, two, three, four, five times to get it all the way past this seven times ten to the negative five because these are decimals, right? Okay, now, least to greatest. I have a neg two negative numbers. This is a negative three and this is a negative seven. So you kind of think about this. Now, this is a teeny number. This one's a little bigger, but we're going negative. So this is the more negative number. Now I've got this one. Now you can write it either way, but we'll just write it in its original format. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a two, which was uh, negative two times ten to the negative seven. And then um, you got a negative 5 and a negative 6. And this negative 6 is actually a smaller number because we're decimal. This is more of a decimal, right? So I got 5 times 10 to the negative 6. And this is actually my largest number, 7 times 10 to the negative 5, or 0 0.00007. All right, number 5. So you need to calculate this other problem. This place showed this. Now this. I can't remember what our calculator showed, but it might, and we have an E button on our calculator, or EE. -E. This just means an exponent, so 1.6 times 10 to the 12. Okay, why did the calculator give us standard? Because this is too big to display. So what is the answer? And we can turn that back. 1, 6, took care of one of my zeros, I need 11 more zeros. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Come back to the commas. Okay, so there would have been her answer. Number 6, the length of Sigmach running north is this. The distance uh, from this is about this. The distance from New York to Mumbai is how many times the length of the New York City north-south wall? So, this is... Alright, so I've got this number right here. Alright, I'm right here. 7.5 times 10 to the third is something times right, this number. So, times something. And we want to know what that something is so we can divide this. Okay, now, probably, I mean, I don't expect you to know this, so. Use your calculator, 7.5. We divide it by 5, you're going to get 1.5. Okay. Our exponents, we got a 3 minus a negative 2, which is 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. Okay. So we get 1.5 times 10 to the 5th. We're going to write that standard. We've got... This move it once we take care of one of these numbers. So now we got four left. So we're gonna have four zeros. One five, one, two, three, four zeros. So it's a hundred and fifty thousand times the length. And that would be your answer. Alright, now your homework is in your other book. We're just going to do, we're not going to go back through a whole bunch of this other stuff here. So you're just going to do pages 37 and 38 in your practice book. It's just six problems. Okay, use your calculator if you need to to try to hit you.